With my twenty dollars, I went to the grocery store and spent it on food. And then I took the food and I went to my church and I dropped it off to go to a food bank. So I wanted to do something that I could、uh, like give back to the community and something I could do locally. It made me feel really good. I knew that I was impacting people somehow, even though I couldn't see where my where my food was going,、uh, or the families or the people it was going to. I still knew that it was helping people, and it was just a very good feeling. I bought supplies and made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for the Grace Lutheran Church bread drop program. First, I bought supplies at Giant. It surprised me how much you could get for just twenty dollars. After I got enough supplies, I made the sandwiches and bagged them. In total, we made more than eighty sandwiches in under three hours. It really is amazing to me how many people twenty dollars can impact. I'm very glad that I was able to positively impact a community like this with such little money. I really enjoyed being able to do this project, and I hope that the tradition continues so that many other people will get the chance to give back. To I went to Spain a couple weeks ago, and while we were、uh, like walking around Barcelona with my family, I saw a man,、um, and this man he was homeless, and he was、um, uh, he had his hands like this, and he was on his knees, and his head was on the ground. And he was in like a really uncomfortable pose, and he was like begging people. To, like please give money because he was like suffering and, and he was hungry. It like really heavily impacted me to see a man、uh, beg like that. It made me really think. Um, and me like it kind of added perspective to my life. It was kind of a an awakening, kind of a realization. The twenty dollars we were able to buy、um, enough ingredients to make meatball subs. So we were able to get enough ingredients to make eighteen、uh, sandwiches, which was pretty great. These were to give out to the homeless、uh, out in Philly. I felt kind of、um, connected to each individual person. Like each person, they they all expressed their gratitude in a different way. There was some like a guy who I came up to and I gave him a fist bump and he was really happy and he was like thanking me like a lot and you know it just made me feel like really good、um, about myself and and it, and it definitely like left me wanting to do it again. I used the twenty dollars to purchase food at Giant that went straight towards St. Vincent de Paul, an organization that gathers food for those needed in the area and donates it towards them. I purchased multiple boxes of cereal, cans of soup, boxes of pasta, and jars of sauce to go along with the pasta. It is an extremely good feeling knowing that you help pay for someone's meal who is unable to do themselves. Also, food has been very hard to come by for the pantry due to COVID. Covid has taken its toll on what seems like everything, and St. Vincent de Paul is no exception. I made baggies for homeless people. They had baby wipes, tissues,、um, hand sanitizer, water bottles, food, mask, gloves, and other things that they might need, like towels. It gave them a little spark because of everything that has happened with the pandemic and how hard it's been with people, especially the ones who don't have homes and are struggling the most. I'm just very grateful and happy that I got the chance to do this. Okay, so yesterday I went down the shop because I need to get a CAT scan. When I was staying there for seven days, people were sending me these meal vouchers, and they're little pieces of paper that are worth five dollars each, and you pay five dollars for them. And that is basically for food in the cafeteria. And what I did was I bought four of them. And when I was down there yesterday, and we went up to where I was staying, and we gave it to the front desk, so basically the nurses can give it to their patients who maybe aren't as fortunate as I am, or、um, they aren't as fortunate as somebody who can buy meals from there. I biked up to the grocery store, and I bought things for the nurses that are going to give me my COVID vaccine on Sunday. I got them hand sanitizer. A card, a handwritten card, coffee, and Mentos, just to say thank you. And I thought they could really use something to cheer up their day because they've been working really hard throughout the pandemic to keep people safe and to help people get out of the pandemic by giving out vaccines.、And、it makes me feel really good to know that I'm helping people. We made bags for nurses, and in the bags we had chocolate, candy. Candles and lotion or bath bombs. Nurses have been working really hard, and this stuff could just help them relax.
My mom is a doctor and her nurses have been struggling a lot just because they had low staff and a lot of them are getting tired after doing a whole year of COVID and having to deal with everything like that. And my mom still says to this day that they're still talking about how it was so nice and relaxing. It made us feel really good knowing that we were doing something good to help the nurses who have been working hard. Max Sergeant and I used our total of $40 to give to a waiter at Lancer's Diner. We first wrote a thank you card, put the $40 inside, and then headed off to Lancer's. We sat down, ordered water, and then left the card on the table and left Lancer's. We wanted to do this because we knew a lot of waiters and waitresses worked hard during the pandemic to provide for themselves and their family. And so we wanted to reward someone and show our appreciation for what they have done throughout the pandemic. It made us feel amazing because even though it was $40 and a little handwritten card, we knew that it could improve their day or their whole week. We learned that even though we didn't see the reaction, we knew that this could benefit them a lot and just have a good gesture. We went out to breakfast and we tipped our waiter $40 uh, together and it ended up being her birthday, which was a pretty nice. We decided to do this because waitresses mostly get paid off of tips, so we thought it would be a nice thing to do. It made us feel really happy that we could like make someone stay uh, with a little act of kindness, and we hope that she maybe passes it on to someone else. I bought two dozen donuts from Dunkin' Donuts, and I gave them to the CHOP clinic near me, where they could share the donuts with the COVID workers that are taking the tests outside of the clinic. They've been working so hard throughout the pandemic. They've been keeping people safe, um, you know, treating people, getting tests, making sure that people are taking the right precautions and they deserve to treat. Um, it made me feel really, really happy because they were telling me how that they would get eaten and it wouldn't have to worry about that. They wouldn't go to waste and it put a smile on my face. I did a lot of things with the money. <clears throat> All of which for my bus driver at the elementary school, Mr. Joe. Um, at the end of every day, we would all sing the Mr. Joe song. It was a list of all of his favorite foods, and it always made him laugh along with all of us. <clears throat> the song was, I love hot dogs and sauerkraut, with McDonald's cheeseburgers and extra pickles, with french fried potatoes and ketchup. Uh, with the $20, I got him all these foods, and I got him a gift card for Dunkin' Donuts for $10. Then, I made him a poster board and a note that said how much of a great guy he was. I did this because he always made me laugh in elementary school. <clears throat> I missed him, and because he was so much fun to be with. Um, it made me feel so good to give him a surprise. What I decided to do for the $20 challenge was um, buy flowers and a card for our family friend who just recently lost her husband because... Um, it's obviously really a hard thing to go through, especially when you have um, kids. So I just wanted to let her know that like our family was thinking of her and she was just very appreciative of it. And she told my mom that it made her month, which it makes you feel like really good to help people because like it doesn't take like so like that much to help people. But when you do help people, it makes you feel really good about yourself and it makes the other people that you're helping feel good about themselves and you just always want to like help people. Well, I decided to make two care packages and in each basket there was some fun stuff like a water bottle or candy, puzzles, flowers, card, all that and it was just something small to encourage someone and one of the recipients was an elderly lady who lives by herself and she doesn't have a lot of visitors and when I went to deliver the basket she was so excited to have someone to talk to and be with that she talked for around an hour and a half and she was just so excited and it was really sweet and the other recipient was the son of a former pastor at my church and when he was younger he had a brain tumor and now that he's around his 40s it's it's come back and he's terminal with this tumor. And I know that it was just a really rough time for their family. And I thought if I can do something small and encourage them, that'd be great. And it just, all of their reactions just showed me it doesn't take a lot to show someone that you are thinking of them and that they're not alone. They don't have to struggle by themselves. And it was just really awesome to, to have this experience of doing something completely selfless for someone else. 
I decided to gift some of my elderly neighbors flowers and I wrote them notes. I did this because some of the elderly neighbors in my neighborhood, they don't have a lot of family or their family doesn't live nearby. So I wanted to let them know that they remembered and I care. It made me feel happy to see them really happy. Um, one of my neighbors was hugging me a lot and she just was really excited and it made me want to do it again next year. So my Nana is currently living at Christ's home, which is a place for assisted living. The unit my Nana is in is called the memory care unit, which means she needs a little bit more attention, a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time. And there are eight people in her unit and I thought, you know, I could do something special for these people. So what I did was I bought decoratable flower pots and I bought begonia flowers. And me and my mom got the pots and we wrote down like messages that were, you are loved, you are supported, you are wonderful. And we drew pictures like hearts, stars, you know, smiley faces, rainbows, all sorts of stuff. What was really cool about this is that we were able to use some of our own money and buy the nurses a memory board. What this is is a magnet board, but they use it to help people with, you know, mental exercises. I went online and ended up buying things to make blankets for dogs. I donated the six blankets I made to a dog shelter called the Montgomery County SBCA in Abington. The dogs in these shelters probably have gone through a really tough time and they do not need to worry about how they will stay warm at night. This donation made me feel good because I knew that these blankets would help keep the dogs warm in the shelter, but also in feeling a sense of familiarity and adjusting to their new home. I decided to donate to the Montgomery County SPCA. I have volunteered there many times. They're really nice over there. They have tons of animals. It's just, it was just a fun experience and they need all of the help they can get. I made catnip toys for a cat sanctuary. Um, I chose to do it because I actually volunteer at this cat sanctuary. It's called Tabby's Place. And I know that the cats always love catnip toys and can always use more. It made me feel really, really good. And especially when my cat even started playing with it. And so it was really nice to see a cat enjoy it, enjoy the toys that I made. I am a hostess at a diner and someone was paying and they didn't have enough money. So what I did with my $20 is I gave it to them and I told them to keep the extra change in case they needed it. Sometimes when I'm working, a lot of people do struggle to get the right amount. So I kind of wanted just to help out a little bit and make sure no one should feel worried. It made me feel really good knowing that I got to help someone out if they needed it and hoping that they kind of pass it along wherever they go. And I would definitely do it again because I felt really good about myself knowing that I got to help someone I didn't even know. I decided to pay for the person behind me in line because I realized that they were short on money and it looked like they really needed some help. And after giving them the money, uh, they told me that they recently just lost their job and they were trying to just get some food at the Wawa. So giving them this 20 was really big for them. And then they really felt great. This really made me feel happy. I mean, I felt great. I pay for people's food at work. I work at McDonald's and whenever people come through the drive-thru and they decide to pay for the person's food behind them, I can see how much it brightens both of their days. Um, the person who paid feels good for what they did and the person whose food got paid for feels good because somebody went out of their way to pay for their food and be nice. And I realized that even the littlest acts of kindness can truly change someone's life and someone's day um, because you never know what somebody's going through and me simply paying for somebody's food could have helped them a lot more than we know. I decided to donate to the SPOT period um, organization. So this organization is a black owned nonprofit that sets up public donation boxes for other people to donate period products. And that organization, SPOT, will take them and distribute them to um, those who are struggling with finding period products who do not have the same access to them. So what I decided to do was donate 160 liners and 144 pads and 144 tampons. So doing this, um, not only did I learn the ridiculous amount and prices of uh, period products and how hard it is to get a good deal for them, especially if you um, are struggling with money. 
And see, I started with $20, but then we put another $20 in. And we only really got um, off-brand period products that were cheaper. So that kind of shows you the expense of period products and the, um, like, really opens up your eyes to see, like, if you were struggling with money, that price is going to double. I bought feminine hygiene products and diapers to give to my church's food pantry. I wanted to do this because this food pantry has been running for so long and they always get a lot of generous food donations, which is really good, but sadly they don't always get feminine hygiene products or baby products, which they're always constantly asking for, so I just wanted to help out a little bit with that. Also, when I was there dropping the stuff off, I volunteered for about two hours just giving out food for people to cut that came by that needed it, and I organized the pantry a little bit. Doing this project, it made me feel really good helping people, but it also made me realize like how lucky I am that I didn't, I've never had to really worry about when I was going to get food or like if I could get feminine hygiene products or anything like that. I bought baby food, diapers, and wipes for a mother and toddler that I met at Target who are going through a very difficult situation. It made me feel really good knowing that I could change the course of her day and was able to provide her with something that she really needed. I decided to donate to a women's shelter and um, we went on their website and they had a whole list of like cleaning supplies, sponges, whatever. I decided to actually go to the store and pick out stuff from their wish list um, so that it would be more kind of personal if I did it myself and I wrote a couple of notes and my mom drove me to the women's shelter and I wasn't able to see any of the residents, but um, I think I did see the woman who ran the place and she said, yeah, this is the type of stuff that they go through the most um, just because cleaning supplies, they need that a lot right now. Um, she was very grateful. And the entire process was really, really easy. They made it super like convenient <laughs> for um, me to just get the stuff and drop it off. So I guess why would you not? Because it's so inexpensive. <laughs> and easy to do. I guess I encourage others to do the same. I decided to spend that money on making mini survival kits for my brother's fifth grade class as they go on to middle school. And inside the bags, it included um, masks, hand sanitizers, gum, just small things that would hopefully get them through middle school. And I even got donations from my two older brothers and my mom and my dad so I can buy more stuff with the money. I know that it can be a scary transition from elementary school to middle school, so I just really hope that these bags would just help them. As I went and handed out these bags, it made me feel happy to see that these survival kits like put a smile on the, on the kids' faces. It was really nice to see that. I feel like it'll be something that they remember and it will really cherish. One time I was in school, I was taking a test, and I, I thought I could take it on my computer because that's what we usually do. And I couldn't, and I didn't have a pencil with me, so I just sat there for about half an hour, did nothing, and got an F on that test for being afraid to speak up. So I got pencils for students at HH, at different schools, at teachers that I thought would need them, or students that I thought would need them, and I gave them out just so if they're ever in my spot or in a different spot that I can't relate to, um, that they'll have a pencil or they'll have the supplies they need to learn. Because what I've noticed is that as someone that's very privileged, I've been given an unfair advantage compared to other people. And something maybe even as small as a pencil could give someone just like that much more of a leg up on their surroundings or what's going on right now. I felt like I was kind of, it was coming full circle, me not having a pencil and then me giving out pencils. I decided that I would write some notes and get some gift cards and some bookmarks and put them in little envelopes and put the, slip them into books at my public library. I really enjoy it when the small things in my day just go right and it just makes my whole day a lot better and I just want somebody else to be able to feel that as well. I'm happy that um, I could put a smile on someone's face when they're least expecting it and hopefully make their day just a little bit better. I chose to buy and hand out flowers because I feel like it's a gesture that's talked about a lot, 
but no one actually like does it outside of the occasional holiday, so I decided to actually do it. So I bought 12 flowers for only $8, and I attached a dollar to 11 of them, and then $5 on one of them because of the leftover money. And I kind of wanted to like also give them money so that if they wanted, they could pay it for it, or they can sa save it for themselves if they needed it. So I thought that would be the best thing to do with the leftover money. And then I asked a friend to help me and we just walked around the main strip of Hatboro asking people if they wanted um, a free flower. A lot of people were really skeptical of the fact that I was doing just a random act of kindness. They were like asking what they needed to do in return, or if they owed me any money or like why I was doing it, which I did explain. But um, they were really confused. Like it's like not normal to just be nice anymore, which is sad. But it was really nice seeing people's eyes light up when I offered them the flower. And a lot of them were actually really, really surprised. And I think that this was a really cool project and I am really glad I did it. And from this experience, I learned that it can be very rewarding to help someone out, even when you don't know them. The smallest act of kindness, it doesn't have to be big, can bring like can really brighten someone's day. It doesn't really take much to make somebody's day or show that you care. And I learned that I could also help people with not a lot of money and it doesn't take much to put a smile on somebody's face. And I also think that it's really important that I learned everybody needs to feel valued and loved and seen and wonderful no matter what your age is. And everybody deserves that. There is a lot you can, good of good you can do with just $20 and that every bit of kindness counts. It doesn't cost much to be kind. It doesn't take much to make someone stay or change their lives. Even just asking a simple question can affect someone so much. We learned that it doesn't take that much to make someone stay a little bit better. It's really not that hard to help somebody and it can truly make an impact in not only their life, but also yours. It's so easy to make someone's day or even their week. It doesn't take much to help people and like you should like I should help people like a lot more often because there's always someone that is in need of our help. You never know what somebody's going through at that certain time. So you really need to appreciate everything you have and you need to really step up when others need you. It's never too late to help someone. Even if it's like very last minute, you should always just help people any chance you get. A little thing can go such a long way. Even a small amount of money could improve someone's day. A simple $20 bill can really mean the world to someone else who's in desperate need of it. People pray each night for such little things. And if you can be the one to deliver such a thing, you will make a huge difference for those around you. Even with $20, you can make a huge difference in some person or animal's life. Even with small amounts of money or small amounts of kindness, you can really help people and make their life better. And overall, it just helps out the community a lot. It really doesn't take that much effort to do something kind, and it doesn't take a lot of time either. You just have to go out and do something that'll put a smile on people's faces, and it makes you feel good about yourself inside as well. Sometimes, um... There's like other people out there who aren't as lucky as you are and um, doing something for them um, just to make them smile or just to feed them for the, for the day. Um, it really makes you think and it makes you feel um, good about yourself. You don't need a lot of money to do something really good. You don't even need money. There's no real mat uh, materialistic value to kindness and this challenge kind of opened my eye to that. It's not that hard to do kind things for each other and that small selfless acts can pay off in the long run. You don't need money to do them and at the end of the day those small things just make somebody's day better.